good afternoon, everybody. Um, um, I'm going to, take, to talk about uh, a perspective on Saudi Arabia, Arubi National Telemedicine Network. This is my financial interest. Uh, as you all know that retinopathy uh, prematurity is a rare, but it's a blinding condition. And this condition is one of the most common cause of visual loss in childhood and can lead to lifelong vision impairment and blindness if not diagnosed or, or treated on time. Um, Saudi Arabia, we have um, many cases of blindness from ROB. In 2004, uh, a group of uh, retina specialists uh, went to the Minister of Health and addressed this problem to him. And uh, he formulated a committee to study this problem and uh, give solutions. Then in 2004, we have the first guidelines uh, for uh, ROB. But with time, still we have blindness from, uh, from ROB. In 2013, um, I, uh, National Eye Health Program uh, unit was formulated in the Ministry of Health. Then uh, we take this uh, problem seriously and we conduct a workshop in 2013 and we invite ophthalmologists and neonatologists, uh, local ophthalmologists and neonatologists and international speakers uh, to uh, study this, uh, um, the problem and um, find the solutions for this. First one, we have to know why ophthalmologists don't like to do ROB screening. We, um, there is many ophthalmologists, they lack experience in uh, screening and uh, treatment of ROB. And they are examining the babies in uncomfortable condition, in uh, monitored, uh, very small incub uh, babies in incubators. Uh, the examination is uncomfortable. Um, the treatment window is very short. Within 72 hours, if you have ROB stage three with blast disease, you have to treat him either type one or threshold within 72 hours. So. Uh, if he has no facility in, the, uh, in, uh, in his hospital, then he was stuck with this patient uh, in transferring him to the, uh, to the treatment hospit uh, hospital. And also, he, they are fair of medical legal issues. Then when we look at the problem as a whole, as I said, we have limited number of experienced ophthalmologists, then they can do screening and treatment, and these ophthalmologists are, are concentrated in, um, in the bigger city. Um, in the periphery of Saudi Arabia, we don't have experience of ophthalmologists to do the uh, ROB screening. And also, uh, we receive many cases in um, treatment center with incorrect diagnosis. Either they are in stage five, that they can, we cannot do anything, or they are in early stage of ROB that they don't need anything, just, um, the, just they need uh, um, they need observation, and they are occupying the beds in uh, tertiary care hospital unnecessary. Uh, and we know that babies with ROB usually have another medical issues, and um, they stay longer when they refer to uh, the treatment center. The neonatologist became annoyed, and they said, we accept this patient for ROB, but now we have another problem that we have to deal with, with it. So uh, we have a problem in accepting the patient. And most of the time, we have unavailable beds in the NIC on the treatment center. So we stuck all, even us, the ophthalmologist who refer and ophthalmologist who wants to do the treatment in accepting this patient. Transportation of the patient from one city to another city is a, is a problem. Uh, this is Saudi Arabia, and we have a large country. The distance from the west coast to the east coast is almost 1,300 kilometers from the north to the south, almost 2,400. So transportation of this fragile baby uh, is a problem. We have the Medifac. Transferring the patient from one city to another city is by Medifac, but um, the, the transfer, it takes two to three days for these babies to, uh, to come to the treatment center. And when we finish from the treatment, we have a problem in transferring this patient back to their original hospital because now they are not urgent, so the Medifac take the urgent cases, then these, these babies, um, they make it uh, not priority. We look at the magnitude of uh, 
the problem in Saudi Arabia. We have 400,000 total uh, live births in Saudi Arabia per year. 4% uh, of these live births are premature, less than 37 weeks, and almost 1.5% of these premature uh, live births are extreme premature, which is around 4,000 to 6,000 babies that need ROB screening. Uh, we know that 35% of these extreme babies have some sort of ROB. And out of these babies who have ROB, almost 10%, they, they need treatment. So we are talking about almost from 100 to 200 babies each year they need treatment. This number is acceptable and can be managed. But the problem is that transferring this patient from one center to another center, an experienced ophthalmologist that can deal with this baby is, is a problem. Um, so we try to find the solutions for the problem. So the first one is training, training of um, uh, ophthalmologists and how to do a proper screening and treatment. And we start 2014 to train um, um, uh, fellows from uh, retina and the pediatric to have, um, uh, to have uh, screening for ROB and uh, to uh, start the treatment. So we have to train photographs on how to take a good uh, uh, photography for, um, for ROB by red cam. Um, then we reserve one or two bits, always available, all the time for the ROB for the treatment. But uh, sometimes if you have two or three patients in the same times, you're stuck with accepting, um, accepting all of them. Um, and we have to expand the treatment. We have to train ophthalmologists to do uh, more ROB in the periphery of Saudi Arabia. And we decide to use the telemedicine as a tool of screening, um, expert opinion, and documentation. And why we choose the telemedicine? It's elegant solutions for um, a lack of experience uh, on screening. It exchanges medical information from one side to another side, enable health professionals to take ocular image and for documentation and second opinion. And uh, this is an example of ROB, uh, telemedicine of ROB, as Dr. Shuan and Dr. Anand showed it before. And this is some of the publication that it is very effective. So we plan to, uh, we plan the telemedicine ROB in three phases. We have 30, 30 in ICU, tertiary care in ICU in the whole, uh, in the whole of the um, uh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And the first stage is, or first phase is to, uh, to install five red cam machines in five, um, uh, five sites. And we already did this, uh, did this one in 2015. In 2016, we'll expand it to 15. And in two, by the end of the 2017, we'll have um, uh, the, um, the, the red cam in all the sites of, um, uh, in ICU in, uh, in Saudi Arabia. Um, and this is the sites of uh, the first phase. I will show you in the pictures. As you said, that uh, we choose the sites of uh, RITCAM in the first phase, uh, one in the center of Saudi Arabia, and the other one in uh, the other one in um, in the east, one in the west, and one in the north, to to see how uh, the practicality of this um, uh, um, the telemedicine in Saudi Arabia. Um, then we have options for transferring the, the images from one site to another site. The, before we, we install the software, we um, transfer the images through a secured email. Uh, uh, when, then we have the RITCAM software or RITCAM review software. Um, it was installed in all the sites, in the five sites. So we are, go we are now using the software. And also, we developed another software. It can, it can transfer image. Uh, it is a web-based uh, um, website um, or software. Um, and it is attached to the National Eye Health Program software. You can upload the picture. Uh, the, the, um, the problem is of the second software that you have to upload the pictures. Uh, from the camera to the software. The RCRS um, uh, software, it, is, it can synchronize uh, from, the, from the red cam camera to, uh, to the software. So you don't need to have uploading the, the pictures. 
Um, this is the first example of how can you transfer images through email. Uh, this patient uh, is 27 weeks, um, uh, premature baby. I was waiting him uh, for uh, more than 10 days to come for the treatment. Um, I have a workshop in another country, then in the way to the, um, uh, to the other country, they call me that the patient in, uh, in the NICU now. I told them to uh, picture the patient, send the, the pictures to me by email. They sent the emails, I find him that he has um, uh, fibrovascular membrane um, in the macular area with vitreous hemorrhage in both eyes with blast disease. I said, I, I will come from my workshop after five days. I thought that it's unfair to keep him in the NISO, so I take the, the next day a plane to Riyadh to do the laser. I did the laser for him and went back to uh, my workshop. So this is another example of, af this is after one week of, um, uh, of the treatment of this baby. The other one is transferring the, the, the information or uh, the, um, the images by the RCRS um, uh, software. And the beauty of this one is just you know, synchronize the images to the software and you can, you can see it from everywhere. Um, we, uh, in this uh, software, we um, uh, train um, uh, administrative trainer for, uh, for uh, username and password. Um, the connectivity, the security, all, all done for this. It need high security uh, system. We have the backup also. We uh, train also the, the photographer on how to synchronize these um, um, this pictures to the, uh, to the software. The other options we have in Saudi Arabia is to have uh, uh, to transfer these images through our um, uh, our software uh, just by username and uh, password. Um, then you can add a new patient here, and this is the medical uh, patient information. The first one, first step is to take the patient name, nationality, um, uh, ID number, a birth weight, a birth date and uh, communication uh, with the patient with mobile or email. The second um, step is to have medical information, uh, either by gestational age, uh, post-ministerial post age, and birth weight, uh, duration of oxygen, uh, blood transfusion, and sepsis. This is as a risk factors for ROB. And this, the last step is to upload the, the pictures from RedCam to the software. And uh, you can upload so many pictures that you like. Then finally, you can see these pictures in um, uh, in the software. You can read. You can um, uh, you can um, um, make a notes uh, for uh, referring ophthalmologist to to, uh, um, uh, to take action about these cases. Um, uh, we are in the first phase. Uh, we hope uh, that inshallah we uh, make it successful. Um, uh, maybe in the next meeting we'll have the results of the first and second phase. Thank you very much.